So we're here at Specialized HQ with Neon looking at the brand new Stump Jumper Evo. Now this bike looks similar to last year's, but there's actually quite a lot of interesting new tech going on. Um, the suspension kinematics particularly are new this year, Neon. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it's quite interesting. I mean, the, the Evo was a fantastic bike for us, very progressive in its riding style and, and um, it was pretty unique in the, uh, the range of mountain bikes that we offered. But things have moved on and we have to move on as riders uh, develop and as uh, styles change. So with the new Evo, we've changed quite a lot to follow in with the Enduro and the status bikes that have gone before. The kinematics have been changed to give us a bit more small bump sensitivity, but also a lot of square edge bump performance. So the axle path has changed significantly um, and we've got a huge amount of adjustment that you can make to this bike as well. The bike now has the ability for you to adjust independently head tube angle as well as bottom bracket height. So head tube angle, you've got uh, a different cup that you can rotate. You can have it as, at a slack, a medium or a steep head tube angle. And also with the bottom bracket, you're able to adjust that independently down here on the chainstay to give yourself two different heights of bottom bracket. So you've got a huge amount of adjustment just within those two areas to tune that ride to how you want the bike to perform. Like the previous Evo, we have our S sizing, but our S sizing may, means that you're finding the right bike fit depending on how you ride rather than something like your inseam length. And the chain stays, the length of the chain stays vary depending on whether you're going for the bigger bikes or the smaller bikes. So there's a huge amount that we've got going on with mm. this new frame set. So this new stump jumper is, is it available in both wheel sizes like last year or is there some change? No, so this new platform is a 29 inch only. Uh, so 29 front, 29 rear. It's a 160 travel front, 150 rear. But we do have this particular build that you see here, which is our limited offer, and that's actually a mullet. So that's having a 27.5 rear end. And obviously you can see the build is very, very different with the uh, coil shock and the new rock shocks, uh, Zeb forks on there. So I think the main thing I'm picking up for the, the, the difference with the Stumpy Evo this year is that you can really tailor this bike to fit your riding style, both with the, the length of it and the the angles. It was a 63 to 65 in the head angle and... Yeah, and uh, it's a 77 uh, seat angle. Uh, you know, it's with all this adjustability, your numbers mm. obviously vary depending on what you do with that head tube angle mm. or what you do with that bottom bracket height. But yeah, you're right. There's a, a lot you can customize mm. here for your own particular mm. riding style. Mm. If you like pedaling through rocks, you might want that bottom bracket to be higher. Mm. If you're riding in the loam and you just like to really just push into the corners, that bottom bracket can go lower. And yeah. again, head tube angle, you can design mm. that to, to suit your riding style. Mm. Mm. So there is a lot you can do with this one platform. Mm. They might look similar. The frame is entirely new, but the performance of the bike has just gone up another level. So what are the new touches on this new bike? Well, there's some other things that are really worth pointing out. Um, we're looking here at the S-Works bike and the S-Works bike gets a, a really nice carbon link. The other models have an, uh, an alloy link there. With the, the new carbon mainframe, you'll also see that there is uh, additional 15% volume in the SWAT. Everyone's familiar with specializing the SWAT uh, door, but with the new bikes, they will all come also with a 22 ounce bladder in the mainframe. So you can run that in the frame, as well as a bottle or a, a keg or you know whatever you want to put as far as storage goes. So how would you summarize the changes for this new Evo? Well, I think, you know, we have to look at the Geo, the adjustability that goes with that. It's it's pretty infinite, you know. You can you can do what you want for the ride you have, mm. as well as the pedaling kinematics, the way the suspension performs. So better square edge bump performance, better climbing, better pedaling. It's a win-win. <laughs>